Hello everyone, this is Lomi, and today we're making a Cheongsam for new YID girls. This style of dress is popular, and there are lots of patterns available to make it for smaller dolls, but none for this large, curvy doll type. The fabric I'm using frays badly, so I've cut out my pieces using pinking shears and then sealed the edges with fray check. For most fabric, finishing the edges of all pieces with a zigzag or overlock stitch before you start sewing should be enough. We'll start by preparing some pieces for assembly. Beginning with the collar, pin your pieces with the right sides together and sew the sides and top closed. If your fabric is bulky like mine is, you may want to trim the extra fabric from the corners before turning the collar right side out. Once your piece is turned, put it aside to be pressed later. Next, we'll add a hem to the sleeves. Fold the bottom edge up about one quarter of an inch and sew it down. Hem both sleeves, then put them on your pressing pile. In human sized dresses, there's only a small opening at the top and side, but since the YID hips are so wide, we need a bigger opening. So this pattern includes a larger front flap, which I've noticed is used in lots of patterns for fashion dolls as well. I've marked the dart on the back side, so I line up the marks and pin it in place. On the pattern I've created, the darts are marked with diagonal lines to show where these folds will be. Once the piece is ready, we'll sew the dart along the marked line to give the front more shape. I backstitch on the outer edge to make it sturdier for assembly, but you shouldn't backstitch the inner corner, as it can make that point bulky. Instead, knot the thread there by hand. Depending on your preferences, you don't have to finish the edge of the center flap. Finishing it with an overlock or zigzag stitch is enough, since it won't show. I like my opening to look as neat as possible, so I've created the pattern with enough room to hem the front edge if you choose. Now we'll add the darts to the front and back pieces of the dress. These darts are small, but make a big difference in how the finished dress fits. Once again, line up the corners, sew the darts, and knot the thread by hand. You can use a pin or needle to pull a knot in the thread down to the fabric perfectly every time. Two darts for the back, and then four darts for the front. Once all four darts are in the front, it's time to add the facing to the top edge. Put the facing and the front right sides together and sew it in place. Turn the facing to the inside, then it's time to press. I like to use some small pins for the first pressing to make sure everything stays folded the way I want but this should be removed before you finish or they can leave marks in your fabric. Once the pieces are all pressed, it's time to put the body together. Pin the shoulders with right sides of the fabric together, connecting your front and front flap to the back. I backstitch on both sides, adding strength where we'll attach the collar and sleeve. Adding the sleeves comes next. Fit the curved top of the sleeve to the sleeve opening and sew it in place.
Once the sleeve is sewn, it's a good idea to check for unwanted wrinkles. I have one where the fabric folded and I didn't catch it, so I correct it by removing the stitching where the wrinkle is, pulling it out straight, and sewing that spot closed again. There, much better. Repeat the same process for the other sleeve. Once the sleeves are in, you can close the left side of the dress. Pin the front and back pieces with right sides together, and starting at the sleeve, backstitch, then sew down to the side slit. The pattern is created to allow a rolled hem at the slit, so it's the part at the bottom where the pattern grows wider. For now, leave the side with the front flap open. Trim your threads, then we add the collar. The end of the collar should butt up against the facing on the front, centering it in the front of the dress. The collar can be finicky because it's so small, so take your time to make sure it fits nicely. Backstitch at the end and slowly sew the collar in place, backstitching again when you reach the other end. Now we'll close the flap side. Begin by pinning the flap to the front, right sides together, starting at the sleeve. Backstitch, then sew all the way down the side where the two pieces meet. At the last minute, I decide to hem the bottom of the flap, so I fold it up. It's never too late for small revisions. Backstitch at the bottom of the flap, then hem the bottom of the flap if you've decided to hem it too. We'll finish the front by turning the edge under and hemming it. Don't hem all the way down though. Only hem as far as the front flap extends, so make sure you line up those points and mark your stopping point for the hem. Hem the front, then turn the dress inside out. Make sure the flap is on this side, so it will be to the inside of the dress front when we're finished. Line up the front and back at the point where the flap ends. There will be a little space about an inch long where we'll connect the front and back. My bottom thread broke, let me try that again. There we go. Clip your threads and now we'll finish the side slits. On the bottom part of the front and back pieces, fold the edge in one quarter of an inch, then fold it again to create a rolled hem. Do this on front and back, left and right sides. Once they're pinned, start at the bottom, sew up one side, then turn and sew back down the other side. This gives us a neat finish on the sides. Repeat this on the other side of the dress. The last thing to do to complete the construction is to create a rolled hem on the bottom of the dress as well. Once again, fold it one quarter of an inch, then fold it again and sew the bottom hem.
Do this for both front and back, and then your dress is done. Now it's ready to add closures to the front using snaps, velcro or frogs, and maybe some fancy trim along the collar or sleeves to help your dress really stand out. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me again. Bye.